Welcome to another video that could potentially change your financial future. Today we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for anyone aspiring to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. We're going to explore 9 habits you should avoid if you want to be rich in 2024 and beyond. Now you might be wondering why focus on what not to do. Well, sometimes the path to success is as much about what you avoid as it is about what you pursue. As the saying goes, what you don't do determines what you can do. So let's jump right in and uncover these wealth-blocking habits that might be holding you back from financial success. Do watch till the end as you won't want to miss any of these habits stopping you from getting rich. Before we dive in, I want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate your support. Without further ado, let's get started. Habit number one, procrastination. Let's kick things off with a habit that's probably all too familiar to many of us. Procrastination. This silent dream killer is more than just putting things off. It's actively sabotaging your financial future. Jack Ma, the co-founder of Alibaba and one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, has a powerful perspective on this. He famously said, The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. This quote perfectly encapsulates why procrastination is so dangerous when it comes to building wealth. When you procrastinate, you're not just delaying action. You're missing out on opportunities. In the world of finance and business, timing can be everything. The stock market doesn't wait for you to feel ready. That business idea you've been sitting on, someone else might beat you to it. So how do we combat procrastination? Here are a few strategies. 1. Break big goals into smaller, manageable tasks. 2. Use the 5-minute rule. Commit to working on a task for just 5 minutes. Often, you'll find yourself continuing beyond that initial commitment. 3. Set clear specific deadlines for your financial goals. 4. Use productivity tools and apps to keep yourself accountable. Remember, taking imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. Don't wait for the perfect moment or until you have all the answers. Start now. Learn as you go and adjust your course along the way. Habit number two, fear of failure. Our second wealth blocking habit is closely related to procrastination, but it deserves its own spotlight. The fear of failure. This paralyzing fear can prevent you from taking the necessary risks to grow your wealth. Many successful entrepreneurs have faced numerous failures before achieving success. Take Thomas Edison, for example. He famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This mindset shift is crucial for building wealth. Instead of fearing failure, we need to embrace it as a learning opportunity. Here's how you can start overcoming your fear of failure. 1. Reframe your mindset. View failures as experiments rather than definitive ends. 2. Start small. Take calculated risks in areas where the stakes aren't too high. 3. Learn from your mistakes. Analyze what went wrong and how you can improve next time. 4. Surround yourself with supportive people who encourage you to keep going. Remember, every successful person has faced failure at some point. It's not about avoiding failure. It's about how you respond to it that determines your success. Number 3. Lack of financial education. Our third habit to avoid is one that's particularly insidious because it's not always obvious. A lack of financial education. Many people make the mistake of thinking that earning a high income is enough to build wealth. But without proper financial knowledge, even high earners can find themselves living paycheck to paycheck. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, emphasizes the importance of financial education. He says, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. Here's why financial education is crucial. 1. It helps you make informed decisions about saving, investing, and spending. 2. It enables you to understand and take advantage of financial opportunities. 3. It gives you the tools to plan for your future and achieve your financial goals. So how can you improve your financial education? 1. Read books on personal finance and investing. Some great starting points are Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. 2. Take online courses or attend seminars on financial planning. 3. Follow reputable financial blogs and podcasts. 4. Consider working with a financial advisor to get personalized guidance. Remember, financial education is an ongoing process. The financial world is always evolving, so make learning a lifelong habit. Habit number four, negative thinking. Our fourth habit to avoid is one that can sabotage not just your finances, but every aspect of your life. Negative thinking. Your mindset plays a crucial role in your financial success, and a negative outlook can hold you back from reaching your full potential. Tony Robbins, a renowned life and business strategist, emphasizes the power of positive thinking. He says, whatever you hold in your mind on a consistent basis is exactly what you will experience in your life. This applies perfectly to your financial mindset. Negative thinking can manifest in many ways. 1. 
self-doubt about your ability to achieve financial success. 2. Pessimism about the future of the economy or your career. 3. A tendency to focus on obstacles rather than opportunities. To combat negative thinking. 1. Practice mindfulness and be aware of your thoughts. 2. Challenge negative thoughts with evidence to the contrary. 3. Surround yourself with positive influences. 4. Practice gratitude regularly. Remember, wealth often begins with belief. If you don't believe you can be rich, you're already setting yourself up for failure. Habit number five, not set clear goals. Without specific financial goals, it's easy to drift aimlessly and waste time and resources. Tony Robbins is also a strong advocate for goal setting. He once said, setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Here's how to set effective financial goals. One, be specific. Instead of saying, I wanna save money, say, I wanna save $10,000 by the end of the year. Two, make your goals measurable. This allows you to track your progress. 3. Set realistic but challenging goals. They should stretch you but still be achievable. 4. Give yourself deadlines. This creates a sense of urgency and helps prevent procrastination. 5. Write your goals down and review them regularly. Remember, your goals may change over time and that's okay. The important thing is to always have a clear direction for your financial future. Habit number 6. Overspending. Our sixth habit to avoid is one that can quickly derail your path to wealth. Overspending. It's easy to fall into the trap of living beyond your means, especially in a world where consumerism is heavily promoted. Dave Ramsey, a personal finance expert, emphasizes the importance of living within your means. He says, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. This quote perfectly captures the futility of overspending. Here are some strategies to avoid overspending. One, create and stick to a budget. Track your income and expenses to ensure you're living within your means. Two, distinguish between needs and wants. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if it's truly necessary. Three, practice delayed gratification. Wait before making non-essential purchases to avoid impulse buying. Four, automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers to your savings or investment accounts. Remember, every dollar you save is a step closer to financial freedom. Habit number seven, paying yourself last. Many people make the mistake of paying all their bills and expenses first and then saving whatever is left over, if anything. Instead, adopt the habit of paying yourself first. This means, one, as soon as you get paid, set aside a portion for savings and investments. Two, treat your savings like a bill that must be paid. Three, aim to save at least 10% of your income, but strive for more if possible. By paying yourself first, you ensure that you're always putting money aside for your future, regardless of other expenses. Habit number eight, getting comfortable with bad debt. It's important to distinguish between good debt, like a mortgage on a property that appreciates in value, and bad debt, like credit card debt for consumer goods. Robert Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of not falling into the trap of bad debt. He says good debt is a powerful tool, but bad debt can kill you. Here's how to avoid bad debt. One, live within your means. If you can't afford to pay for something in cash, don't buy it on credit. Two, pay off credit card balances in full each month. 3. Build an emergency fund to avoid relying on credit for unexpected expenses. 4. If you do have bad debt, make a plan to pay it off as quickly as possible. Remember, the average credit card interest rate is around 22%. No investment is likely to consistently beat that return, so paying off high interest debt should be a priority. Habit number 9. Relying on motivation instead of discipline. Our final habit to avoid is relying on motivation rather than discipline. Motivation is fleeting. It comes and goes. Discipline, on the other hand, is what gets you through when motivation is low. Jim Rohn, a famous American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker, famously said, Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Here's how to build financial discipline. 1. Create routines and stick to them, even when you don't feel like it. 2. Set small, achievable financial goals and consistently work towards them. 3. Track your progress and celebrate small wins along the way. 4. Remember that consistency is key. Small actions repeated over time lead to big results. As the saying goes, discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most. There you have it. Nine habits to avoid if you want to be rich in 2024 and beyond. Remember, building wealth is not just about what you do, but also about what you don't do. By avoiding these habits and cultivating their opposites, you're setting yourself up for financial success. Which of these habits do you struggle with the most? What steps are you going to take to overcome them? Comment below. You may also wish to check out my other video on the Chinese secret to saving money for wealth accumulation in the link above and in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share this video so that more people will learn about the habits to avoid to be rich in 2024. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos for creating wealth and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.